Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. And to be completely honest, you probably shouldn't even watch this video. Yeah. This is us opening our BAM box. Our newest BAM box, which is three $75 boxes rolled into one because there was a deal, $200. And here's what it looks like. Stay tuned. That's right, you heard before the intro, this is the BAM box. And what they usually do, what they used to do, is they would have their monthly subscription box and it was like 40 bucks or something. And somebody brought up a good point. Hey, it's $40 subscription box. You're not gonna get the greatest things. You're gonna get some little plastic stuff that's kind of fun, maybe some cool stuff once in a while. And then you're gonna get like an eight by 10 autograph from someone that they do a mass thing of autographs for. And it's probably somebody that you might not have heard or like a background character, an extra or something like that. Maybe it's somebody really cool. Maybe it's the voice of Michelangelo that we got one time. That might have been out of Loot Crate or Zobi, I can't remember. But some cool stuff. And if you didn't want that and you wanted something better, there was the BAM Big Box. And this was a non-subscription service. And it usually was like, I think it was like $65 to $70 shipped for a box. And they did it uh, bi-monthly. So every other month, on average, they do it every quarter, something like that. And it was a bigger box, A-list celebrity, it was cooler, and everybody's like, this is really cool stuff. Recently, I said, we're getting rid of the BAM Big Box and we're gonna replace it with the BAM Ultra Box. They did a choose your own adventure with this Ultra BAM Box, sci-fi, 80s, or fantasy. And I don't know what could be in any of those, but I said, that's really cool. And I said, hey, for a deal, these are $75 a piece. For a deal, you can get three for $200. And this one will not count as a subscription service. So you can go back in later and you can check it out. You can maybe get one when they go full subscription. But this one was just like a one-time purchase. And we had a little bit of fun with BAM box. Yeah. We kind of got trapped because our first box we ever opened had the signed Dumbo Funko Pop. And they were like, awesome. yeah, Disney signed Funko Pop. We're like, okay, who is it going to be? Oh, it's Lindsay's favorite. It's Dumbo. What are the odds? We're hooked, right? Yeah. So we stayed there for like six months and they were like, and that was it though. That was really, the only thing we really got that we really enjoyed from that was that Dumbo. Yeah. I figured this big $75 box and three of them rolled into one would be really cool. $200, I'll take the chance. I don't know if I should have done that. Yeah, immediately, <clears> as soon as he got it, he was like. I was like, there better be more boxes coming. Yeah. As a preview, I went on other people's YouTubes and I saw if they also only got this little box and it was a couple people that were opening it and they're like, this is all I got. Which is weird because people that got the fantasy box were like, this is the box I got for fantasy. So it looks like this is the box you get. And this hopefully is really good. Hopefully there's like A-list celebrities, somebody I've heard of, somebody really awesome. Yeah. And it kind of ties in with today's featured Funko, which is a quick little, the everything is fine dog. This is fine dog. This is fine. Look how cute he is. So here's the This Is Fine Dog. I'm just kind of holding it on this. And this is Entertainment Earth's This Is Fine Dog. It's cute, it's fun. It kind of goes with this box. Hopefully this is fine, but chances are, I don't know. It's a dumpster fire. Yeah, it would be awesome if it was a dumpster fire, but I think it's like oh. legit a dumpster fire. Yeah, like. However, Lindsay and I have already said that it's pretty cool that it came in this box. It's hard to get some of these boxes. Uh, and we don't need too many, so we don't want to order in bulk. So this is good when we sell something like we recently sold the Venom variant cover uh, comic book. I don't yep. know much about it, but we got it in a Pop King Paul mystery box. Yep. And the big hit of that Pop King Paul mystery box was Rhino's first appearance. And then also in there was this, you know, Venom, non-protected, just in a regular little sleeve, like everything else. And it ended up going for like two to three hundred dollars. Yeah, more than Rhino did, and yeah. Rhino was a graded. Yeah, and Rhino was CGC graded. Oh, I'm so nervous. It was a low grade though, but it was really it, cool to get. Yeah, it was still cool to have a graded comic. Okay, so we have no idea what to expect. Um, I know in past big boxes, what this took over, you'd get you know a couple pins. You'd get some cool like prop type thing and they'd wrap it all up nice for you. So we're just gonna start off on top with this pin. All right, it's a football, a football player. Pin? It's not even 
like an actual football player, so I can't tell you what it is. So limited release of 750. I don't know who this is supposed to be. We'll let you guys know at the end if we can find out. Yep. So if this is, maybe it's 80s. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's, that's the 80s. Uh, let's do this one, which is literally the same thing. Wow. All right, so already this box is showing. And when, when you pay for three different boxes, you don't expect to get three sets of the same thing. No. All right, moving on to another pin. Let's go ahead. There's like and just... another pin in here. Oh, we got something different. It's um, somebody smoking a pipe. All right, I wonder if that's our fantasy. I wonder if that's one of the like Frodo Baggins or Bilbo Baggins. And that's a 500 piece. So we have three of the 750 pieces. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and the last one is Stranger Things. It looks like somebody fighting a demigorgon. That's pretty cool though. That's cool. Now I don't know if this is actually Stranger Things or if it's fantasy. So it might just be Dungeons and Dragons fighting a demigorgon. So that's 500 piece. So I don't know. Maybe we're supposed to get these and they just threw these in. If that's the case, okay, there's some extra stuff in there, but Meh. that was weird. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's all the pins. After that, there should be some art prints and signature type things. Okay. So we got a, you know, this is what this is. We'll look at that afterwards. Oh, we got another pin. And this is uh, Baggins with the ring, it looks like. Okay. Honestly, I don't know what that is. Or Georgie. I don't know. I literally can't tell you what that is. I don't. Hopefully they kept some good stuff at the bottom. When we were watching like other things people had sent, we saw that Franchise Kicks got a signed Elvira picture. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Yeah, and I know I'd be really okay with that. It's not the same box, but like that would still be really cool. Okay, so this isn't an art print. This is a little thicker. This is like a foam board. Yeah. Okay, so this is... Uh, a map it looks like, and is this Lord of the Rings? I'm saying guess Lord of the Rings and everything. I'm gonna guess Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's probably Harry Potter, but no, <laughs> I have no idea. So honestly. it's Mar del Zer. Mar del Zer. Mar, yeah, Mar del Zer. I don't know what this is from. It's from Toy Story. The writing looks like the style of writing that's on the inside of the the ring. It's pretty cool looking though. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, looks like we're getting another Mom, very type of thing like got that. Got another foam, foam board, so... Alright, let's see what it is. This one is a different... This looks like a map with a... Style. Is this Stranger Things? I don't know why I would guess that. Indiana Department of Town of Hawkins, yeah. Yeah, so this is Stranger Things. This is their geological map. We actually like stuff like this. Yeah, it's we, pretty cool. We almost bought a couple maps of our hometown. Yeah. With like old school stuff like this. And because we thought it was really cool. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure we did. All right. And the last one. So this looks like if Stranger Things counts as 80s. I don't know if it counts as 80s or counts as fantasy. That's or, a good question. Or sci-fi. Right? Because it's, it's all of them. All right. What's this last one? Another map. Okay. This is 100%. This one is Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's Middle Earth. There's uh, Rohan and Mordor, and there and there's the Hobbit Shire up there. Aww. So there's, yep. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I can I justify spending two hundred dollars on this so far? No. No, maybe fifteen dollars. <laughs> All right, let's hope there's some All good right. stuff in here. Next we have. This looks like the arts. Art so, collection. Yeah, BAM certificate of authenticity. So this is not the sign thing. Those come with different types of things. So let's see what these are. Okay. There's gonna be three of them, and we get these are all the characters. That's okay. When I first saw this, I thought, I wonder if this is Rudy. Oh. So this character, is Sean Astin. So this is actually a really, really pretty art pick. I can't even get mad about this one. This one is really cool. Uh, and then, yeah, that does settle. This is Rudy, who Sean Astin plays. And then we kind of thought this one along with the, the Frodo Bilbo Baggins guy. So I guess this is Sean Astin's character. I think his name's Sam. And then this is him from the Goonies. Okay. 
So very, very cool picture. It's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I'm glad we have two of that. Is this gonna be a thing that's all three the same? That's the thing, that's all three the same. At least it's that and not, oh, wait, we don't know yet. We got 16, 216, 217, and 219 out of 750. Cool. So last thing we got. These are like bigger than like eight by tens. And this may just be three autographed pictures of Sean Astin. It honestly might. At the very least, please be different pictures. So I thought this was gonna be a, a box of fantasy, a box of 80s, and a box of sci-fi. But it turns out that chances are whatever you bought, you got the same thing. So buying three of them, Mm. Like, why would you make it a deal to buy three if it's going to be the same thing in each you box? You know nobody's going to be happy with getting the same thing in every box. Yeah. Like, Let's see. Alright, so it's Sean Astin as Bob from Stranger Things. Okay, that's cool. Very, very cool. I Like, legit, if I had pulled this out of a BAM mystery box and I got this, 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 and one of these, I would have been like, that's a good box. Yeah. But if you are not the, if you're not a huge Sean Astin fan, and you're thinking you're getting these three different varieties, you're gonna be very upset on this. So there's our autographed picture, pretty cool. It's certified by Beckett. All right, let's see what number two is. Okay, okay it's, it's a different, different one. It's different. Thank goodness. So that's cool. So that's his. Like... Yeah, that's his Lord of the Rings character. That's cool. And this might be him as the Goonies character. And there it is, him as the Goonies character. That's cool. Okay, I'm glad that these, even though they are the same person, they're different pictures. Yeah, I appreciate that they're different, but the fact that we got a bunch of the same pen and three of the same art print. Yeah. And if you are not like a Sean Astin fan, which we're not huge Sean Astin fans, I have appreciated everything he's done every time he's been in a movie. Like, I, I don't love even the know Goonies. Who he is. Yeah. I love the Goonies. I love. She does know him at from Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, she's just quoting that uh, Thanos line. I thought he was really cool in Lord of the Rings and Stranger Things. Obviously, really awesome. But you really narrowed it down. You have people paying two hundred dollars for a fan box of one actor. Yeah, basically. Like that's. that's... There's no way Bam Box is not gonna get you know a bunch of negative. There's, yeah, on I'm this. sorry, there's no way because nobody, especially if people bought multiple, if they bought three because they were doing a deal for three, you expect it to be like some three. awesome thing and different items because you, there's no way you could think that people would be happy buying three boxes that are basically the same. So I do appreciate this is good quality photo paper. Yes. This is a good signature. It's a good Beckett seal. This is even a pretty good, like brought to you by BAM plastic thing. That's really nice. Yeah. The quality is good. I would say Sean Astin is a pretty good actor. He's a pretty well-known actor. He's had a lot of iconic roles. So it is good that they got him. Before we had got, you know, the pizza guy in one of the episodes. Yeah. Signed something. And I'm sure that kid is a really cool kid, but I didn't know who he was. Yeah. So at the very least, I knew who this was. Is this worth $200? No. Probably not. If you're a Sean Astin fan and you got this, then yeah. Man, that was a gold mine. Yeah. Like, this would be a gold mine for you. We just gotta find a Sean Astin fan. You should just give this to your sister for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know we don't put out a lot of negative stuff. We're usually pretty happy with everything. And even in this, we were happy at different points. Yeah. Um, but. Overall, meh. Yeah, when you when you give like a company one last try and you're like, I don't really like how they do this and do this and do this. And then you're like, but I'll buy the big box. I've never bought the big boxes before. And I'll buy three of them because I want something, at least one thing really good. And it turns out to be all the exact same thing. I don't know if I'll put this up because we try to stay positive. Yeah, I know exactly what it was. Every single box, this, this, this. Every box got a football. And this is a one, this is one, and this is one. It's the Goonies map. That's what it is, yeah. That's the Goonies map. 
It might be upside down right now, but it's not. I should have known because of the X. Silly. How do you not even know? Thank you to Sean Astin for signing a crap load of stuff. Yeah, for like, real though. He must have signed a lot of stuff. And I appreciate him being a good sport about that. They are cool prints. I do like them. But do I think it's on the scale of buying this for $200? No. These will probably go for 40 maybe. Maybe. If we're lucky, 20 to $40. Yeah. So now anybody that comes over to the house is going to think we're giant Sean Astin fans if we hang these up around the house. Yep. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. This is Grown Kids TV. See you later.